11, the maximum value of fx is this one where m and n are constant. Show that m is equal to n minus 1 fx is equal to x square minus 4nx plus 5n square plus 1. So we can get we can get the maximum value by doing completing the square. So when we have a x minus b square plus q, then this one is the maximum value. A, to do computing the square, first you must have x square, so you have it. And then after the one with x, so this one you see here, the one with x, you add square minus square plus 5n square plus 1. You see here, inside the square one here is supposed to be what is in front of x divided by 2. What is in front of x here is negative 4n. This one should be negative 4n divided by 2. This one is negative 4n divided by 2. So this one would be x. Negative 4 divided by 2, negative 2n square. This one is from the equation. If you have a plus b square, you have a square plus 2ab plus b square. 2 times a times b, you get 2ab. This one, you square the first one, you square the second one. So this is what happened. From this 1, 2, 3, it becomes this one. And back here, you have 2n square plus 5n square plus 1. x minus 2n square. Okay. 2n square, 2 square, you get 4. n square, you get n square plus 5n square plus 1. Here you get x minus 2 and square, negative and positive, you get positive and square plus 1. This is the maximum value. Maximum value from the equation, this one is maximum value. So you have this one, m square plus 2n and n square plus 1. n square plus 1. m square plus 2 and this one is maximum value this is also the maximum value for this one so show that m is equal to n minus 1 so what we wanted to find here is m so m square is equal to you bring 2 n to the other side and square minus 2 n plus 1 okay which is equal to so you see this one is n this one is 1 and this one is negative 2 and this one is actually n minus 1 square so from here you see here this one is n square this one is 1 square this one is 1 square at the back here which is 1 and then the middle one is 2 times n times negative 1 which is negative 2 n so it can be in form of this one m square when you have square at both sides you can cut it off m is equal to n minus 1. So, show that m is equal to n minus 1. So, proven.